Welcome to A Woman's Perspective, and tonight we have some new young leaders. The leaders of the future are with us tonight, uh, attendees from the Louisiana Girls Leadership Academy, and we will also have some clips from that. But before that, let's learn about our attendees from the Louisiana Girls Leadership Academy. We have Allie Casey, Alexandra, I think. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Casey, who was in Tier 2. Uh, that means girls entering the 10th and 11th grade in the academy. And we have Molly DeLott, and she was in Tier 1, girls entering the 8th and 9th grade. Also, uh, Allie is from Terrebonne Parish, and Molly is from Lafouche. So we have covered the territory. <laughs> All right. Yeah, definitely. So, Allie, why don't you tell our viewers about yourself? Well, actually, um, I love playing soccer. I, believe it or not, got off the soccer field about, um, I want to say, an hour ago. <laughs> I play goalie at Vanderbilt and also I am in photography club and I hope to join choir next year and that's pretty much me. And how old are you? I'm 15. You're 15 you go to Vanderbilt? Yes ma'am. And who are your parents? Carlton and Andre Casey. And how many, do you have any siblings? I actually have two older brothers. Um, my eldest brother is go, is actually attends Tech, LA Tech, up in oh, Ruston. Ruston. And my other brother, who's turning 19 soon, he is going to LSU to the business department. But I hope that you're going to be the leader in that family. Oh, of course. Very well. definitely. We got that straight. Okay, Molly, why don't you tell our viewers about yourself? Hi, I'm Molly. I'm from Lafouche Parish. I go to Six Ford Middle School. I'm in eighth grade. And I'm in cheerleading. I do softball. I love my friends and family, and I have a wonderful dog. <laughs> I, I know you also do babysitting. Yes, and very I babysit. Very responsible. Uh, yes. Uh, very responsible young student. And who are your parents, Molly? My parents are Rachel Granier and Jeffrey Delot Jr. And do you have any siblings? I have a stepbrother. He's 21. His name is Josh. And you have a dog. Yes. Okay, well that's good. He's a friend too. Yes. Uh, yes. That's what Chip says to me all the time, give me a friend, Laura. You're never around. Give me a friend. Yeah, let's try a dog. <laughs> all right, so let's get to the Academy. Louisiana Girls Leadership Academy was June 12th through the 15th. We started off with a make-believe Scott Angel. <laughs> and, uh, right, because he wasn't able to attend at the last minute. So I dressed up as Scott Angel, gave his speech, and then sent him a picture saying, this is me being you doing a better job so <laughs> it was quite a sight it was Very. quite a sight <laughs> me, me dressed up as Scott on shell all right and then we went all the way to the service projects and Barbara Bush so uh, tell me first Molly tell me what is it that you liked the best about the Academy well the Academy overall was fantastic but the most thing I liked that I loved the best was meeting Barbara Bush because she taught me so so many things just by listening to her about global health and how you can make a difference in the world by just being one single person as one woman and being leader. And also, we did a conquer the camera section with Miss Laura's son, Bear, and he taught us everything you need to know about speeches, whenever you're getting interviewed, and mostly about just being on television like I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, and Allie, what did you well, like Well, I best? really loved conquering the camera. That was such fun. And we even did, a few of my friends went up and they pretty much filmed them and then replayed it again. And um, I also and loved... And critiqued them when we replayed oh, it. Oh, definitely. That was, that was actually really cool because with re critiquing them, we actually learned more like what, how it would be if we were on television. And you're going to learn more tonight when you see this, when it's when you see it again at home. <laughs> I'm actually T-voting this right now. Okay, well, that's, that's <laughs> fine. But it plays again around 1030 tonight, and it plays again in tomorrow morning. Okay, now, Molly, what did you say that you would like to change about the Academy? Well, since we've done our service projects, um, I like to have more time on our service projects because whenever I'm getting a given assignment at school, I like to have everything settled and have everything in place and it was it was very fun and it was very interesting just to do that but 
I like to have everything in place so I can make a better thing of myself whenever I do it. A better presentation. Yeah, a better presentation. Bring yourself yes. forward. All right, well, with that, Jason, would you run Tier 1's uh, winning public service project? So that, as, as you can see, this was Louisiana Fashion Sense, and they were using a recyclable uh, anything to make whatever they were wearing. I think there were bracelets they had on, uh, they had uh, flip-flops that were from recyclable materials, and I think that the, the winning gown is about to come on. Um, did, there it is, the, the, uh, the paper ball gown. <laughs> Louisiana Fashion Sense was the winner of the Tier 1 Public Service Project energy and the environment. Okay, so Allie, let's go to you. What would you like us to change or give you more time for or anything? Actually, I really loved meeting new people and if we could even make that a longer time to really get to know more girls, because we all live in the same area sort of and so meeting all those new people and like I didn't know that people right here in Terrebonne had I had a lot of common with and now we've actually we've hung out ever since then and we plan to hang out even more and really become good friends. Well that's wonderful and we, you said you were asking about the icebreaker that we did yes. on day one when you were introducing yourselves. That was really fun. Right and someone else asked about more interaction perhaps in, uh, in some of the uh, presentations where you might be able to meet each other more. So I'm going to work on that for this year. I'm going to have you guys as my advisors. I mean, that's a really tough job. I mean, ask your mom, <laughs> ask, ask Lenny Lee, your grandmother. that's a really tough job being my advisor, but I'm going to ask your girls that. All right, and let's play the, uh, Jason, may we play Tier 2's winning um, presentation, Water, Water Everywhere, and on this one, can we uh, give some sound, because I think it's there, they have a song at the end Water of this one, don't they? Eat, eat in the future and we'll preserve oh, we don't water. have the song on we the clip. Okay. Well, Water, Water Everywhere, and I do believe that the song really helped this group win. The way in which they um, they did the waterfall with their hands, there was a lot of, of uh, a presentation with body motion as well as with song. And this was water, water everywhere, and what you can do to save water. And to make sure our water is clean. And, okay. All right. So <laughs> back to me. All right. Now let's go back to um, Molly. Tell me what lessons you may have brought, brought home with you from the Academy. Well, from the amazing Elizabeth Dent, I brought home a very good lesson to learn and about it's about taking speeches and whenever you're talking in front of people and for television for movies and everything and you have to have some of the most important things in there to be appropriate and to be showing of yourself as I can put it that way but you have to be lo you have to love what you do which I kind of am right now and <laughs> You have to be, you have to have a great attitude because if you don't, then it shows that you really don't want to do this and that you're just doing it just to do it. And you have to be very confident in yourself to know that you can do this and you will and or can make a difference. And for our viewers, I just remind you that Elizabeth Dent is one of our regulars every year at least, every few months, on uh, A Woman's Perspective. She is the state chair of the Louisiana Girls, the Louisiana Center for Women in Government's Leadership Council. And I guess she does want to be the, uh, the state chair of the Louisiana Girls Leadership Academy. She loves presenting to you guys. Okay, Allie, what lessons did you take away? Well, actually, I did learn a lot from Elizabeth Zinn, but I also learned a lot from you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Stilettos, is that what you learned? Oh, definitely. Stilettos, high heels all the way. High, high heels and pajamas. That's, a, that's, what we, that's what we did. 
but you really like you showed us how not to be afraid of ourselves as you did dress up as Scott on Joe and you had the overalls and the hat and the accent and like that really kind of taught me a lot to where I could be comfortable and people are there to listen right so why should I be completely nervous and scared when I know what I'm talking about and I know people want to listen and so I really learned a lot from that and also with Elizabethson I did learn that attitude is everything that's what I thought at least I had a big hat that had a smiley face on it and everything that was really fun well I, I do believe attitude is a has a great deal to do with how we approach life and how we approach life has a great deal to do with how successful we are and our achievements in life so I think Elizabeth got that right and Definitely. I'm glad you got that lesson and I'm glad you got that lesson because confidence in whatever you do is important I learned something too I said from my own son in conquering the camera when he said uh, if you make a mistake no one will ever know unless you tell them. And I said, that is so true. I go around life telling people about my mistakes. Nobody would ever know. So I, I learned that from Bear. So let's go back to you two girls in the little time we have left. Uh, we'll start with you, Allie. Allie, what is the next um, either public service project that you're interested in or the next office you're interested in? Or if you don't want to answer that right now, what about the future? What are your plans in the future in terms of what you think you want to be in life? Well, I actually, I already know I would like to be a doctor. Um, today was my second day on my internship at Dr. Ray Sonato's office, the eternal medicine area in the hospital. And I've really been enjoying myself. I haven't been seeing patients or anything, but I really get to see the background on medicine and how much filing is involved. And also, I am hopefully incorporating my service project into my school. I want to, our project was actually um, Retro Recyclers. We have a Facebook page if you like to look us up. And oh, tell them what you, how to you get to your Facebook page. Well, it might, I'm not quite sure. We're still working out a lot of kinks. It's actually very technical, believe it or not. And um, once I get more information, I really want to start spreading the word and everything. But what I really like to start doing is start incorporating recycling into our school and put recycling bins and hopefully eventually have maybe a recycling group. Oh, I'm fabulous, fabulous. I'm so glad that you came to us and you've gone going back with that to your community. Thank you so much. And I, I hope you're going to be a plastic surgeon. Remember, we discussed this. I, I'm going to need you. Okay, Molly, uh, tell me, what are your plans for the future? Is there something you want to run for, or do you, uh, your public service project, or is something in the future, your plans when you, when you grow up? Well, I would like to make my service project go worldwide because my service project was Big, short time, big difference. It's about, since it was a girls leadership academy, we took everything from girls. We use straighteners, curl line, curling irons, and we keep our cell phones charged for longer than they need to be. And we can make that stop and try to get all the girls, well, not all, because not everybody's going to do that, but try to get most of people to see how much they're hurting our environment. By keeping all that, by keeping they're every, wasting energy. Yeah. Yes. By keeping everything plugged in. Yes. That's that's a very good message. We're glad you tell our viewers about that, and that you did that for for your fellow girls. Okay, now Molly, do you know yet what you want to be when you graduate? Um, I want to be a pediatric nurse. Okay, so does this mean if she doesn't become a plastic surgeon, when I when I go back to, to childhood again, you're going to take care of me then? Yes. Both of y'all. Y'all both. Of course. Have, th this is what you're devoting your lives to, taking care of me. I love it. <laughs> this is the plan. We want to thank all of our viewers for being with us. We want to thank these young leaders for being high potential leaders in the first place and coming to the Louisiana Girls Leadership Academy and showing us that they walked away as even greater high potential leaders. Thank you, Allie Casey and Molly DeLott. And thank you for being with us. I'll see you next week.